Hi, this is uh, Tutor Nick P, and this is lesson 168. Today we're going to look at the difference between rare and scarce. Yeah, this is one that students could mix up. Uh, let's look at the first note. Uh, something that is rare is not common, and there are not many in existence. So maybe it was like a limited edition or a limited supply, or for some reason, not many left anymore. All right, look at the second part. Uh, if something is scarce, there is not enough of it, and it used to be common, uh, but it's difficult to get at a particular time. So it might be more with the situation that a lot of them have disappeared, and that's why they're hard to find. That's why they're hard to get at a, in a particular place at a particular time. Okay, let's look at the first example. Uh, of course, with the X, this one would be wrong. Uh, during the SARS crisis, medical masks were rare. No, the answer here should be medical masks were scarce. Yeah, if you remember back, I think it was around the early 2000s, I don't know, around 2002, 2003, it was around that time. Uh, especially in places like Hong Kong and Taiwan, uh, they were, they were, the SARS crisis was on and these medical masks disappeared because everybody was afraid that they might catch SARS and everybody needed it. You needed it to even use public transportation. So they kind of disappeared. They were hard to come by. But, you know, at other times, after the crisis was over, no problem. Plenty of masks to get. So that's the way we would use scarce. At that time, it was very scarce because they were hard to find. They all sold out. Okay. Uh, let's look at number two. Um, again, with the X, this means this is wrong. Uh, due to hyperinflation and price controls, food became rare in Venezuela. Now, here, of course, the answer would be scarce. Food became scarce. Uh, yeah, again, is there, to be honest, Venezuela is probably even producing enough food for its people. It's just that it had to sell it because it's so desperate for money. Okay, so in that sense, we would say it has become scarce. It's become hard for the people of Venezuela to get the food. Okay, and uh, let's look at three and four. Three and four here is just typical examples of rare. Uh, a baseball card of Honus Wagner is very rare. Yeah, I remember when I was, I mean, Honus Wagner goes way back to the early 1900s, but I remember when I was a kid, they always talked about this as being one of the most valuable baseball cards. Now, there wasn't that many made. I think in the really early days, they weren't even distributed like baseball cards are today. We could buy them in a pack of baseball cards. I think these came, like, with cigars or something. So it's, it's very limited. So in this case, it would be very rare. Okay, and let's look at number four. Betsy inherited some rare coins from her grandfather. Again, if it's rare in this sense, maybe there was a, a limited edition when they bought it. So maybe there were only 1,000 made or 500 made or something like that. And that's, of course, what makes them rare. So they're always rare. Scarce is usually only at a particular time and in a particular situation. Okay, I hope you got it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it's clear. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.